everybody. Welcome to the My Damn Channel Live Hangout. I'm your host, Nate Bennett, and with me today is Mark Malkoff. Yeah, I know. Where? What? Huh? Hi. Hey, Mark. How you doing, man? Pretty good. Thanks for having me here, Thanks. Nate. Thanks for coming. It's been a while since Mark's been on, and Mark, you... Why is to... that? I don't know! You know what? You know what it is? Uh, are you still using AOL Instant Messenger? Because yes! There you go. I am on Gchat now, so we have to fix that. We have to fix it. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Let's and talk, Mark. Let's talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting into like this, like Barbara Walters. You like, tell me your greatest fear. What dream did you have if as you, a child? If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Mm, I think maple. No, you've like turned that. it around on me. I have. Gosh. My scheme to take over the show. <laughs> God, you're you're doing it. It's not I'm hard. You just, I don't think anybody's really tried. And you'll be the first to try. <laughs> the first one. And then it'll just be uh, like, let's do it. Let's arm wrestle. Wait, speaking arm of which, though, for the no, show, I bet you would you'd win. win. Maybe, because I did. Yeah. I was working out recently for the yeah. first time in a couple years. Spe yeah, let's talk about that real quick. So Mark just did a 28-day vegan challenge where... Mark, describe it a little bit. Okay, like, so that I, was a bad talk. I have this for personal <laughs> trainer friend, Robert Brace, mm -hmm. and he wanted me to see what would happen if I went vegan for a month. But not even a month. It was 28 days, but yeah. to see what would happen if he worked me really hard with mm -hmm. weights. And he wanted to get me ripped on a vegan diet to see if yeah. I could get muscles, because we all know... Vegan bodybuilder is pretty much an oxymoron. Yeah, like, a lot like, of people think, yeah. Like constructive YouTube comment. You know, speaking of constructive YouTube comment, let's prove Mark wrong by leaving comments below now because we're going to be answering some of those while we go along here. That was a good segue, Mark. I tried. It's part of the video. <laughs> uh, but you had, done, you had gotten into uh, shape before, right? You had done the six-pack abs thing. I did. I did a video for my damn channel called mm -hmm. um, Six-Pack Ab Challenge. And I had the same personal trainer, but mm -hmm. he made me eat, and I'm not joking, 330 hard-boiled egg whites in a month. It was 11 <sighs> hard-boiled eggs a day, and I, it was just a disgusting. How, month. how do you, yeah, by the end of that, you must have wanted to go vegan, right? Like Pretty no much. Eggs. Yeah, 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 it was hard-boiled hard only. I could have fruit every seven days, and I had so much energy, <laughs> but I was just miserable. All I did was <laughs> fantasize about food. Other people have fantasies about, I don't even know what, but m me, it was just all food. And I was so, this happened... <laughs> Both times, I was so disciplined in my dreams. I would dream about food at night. I'd be so mm -hmm. disciplined that I'd be, you know, eating a cookie in a dream, and then I would realize I can't have this. And in the dream, I would spit the cookie out. <laughs> There's something wrong with me, Nate. Oh my gosh! It sounds like you were in like a like just some sort of like mental jail. Pretty kind much, of. it was a Charlie Kaufman. A film jail. A little bit. Of there is. Yeah, yeah, and then you get out of the jail into another kind of jail inside a jail exactly. or something like that. That's what all like the Charlie Kaufman films are. Yeah, I like to torture myself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. I did. I was uh, vegan for like two months because I used to work. I worked at uh, PETA in one of their offices for a little while, and like it, you, it kind of happens when you're there because you're surrounded by all that stuff. Maybe that's what you need was a healthy reminder through terror and guilt. I guess but, so. That what. So, PETA, when you go in every morning, do they have like a, like a metal detector, like a meat detector and stuff? Do they it, do they scan to make sure you're not bringing in You enter the bacon? building through elevators, yeah. and they either just let you in the elevator, or they send you back down to go home to drop off your meats and your wow. leather belts and your whatever. You can't wear, I couldn't wear my furs, you know, I couldn't I know, it. and you're all about your furs. And in the winter especially, I can't do it under these hot lights. I'm yeah. trying to get them to get good AC in here, but it's not happening. Wow. That budget. got a little too personal. It's Again, the tell me if, yeah. what else. Get the stuff off your chest. Oh, okay. So, well, what I mean, like, uh, I was editing video there, and the video you edit there is going to be, you know, the kind of material that makes you want to not eat that way if you, you know, put two and two together. So, yeah, yeah I, I was also doing it for a while, and it was extremely difficult, extremely difficult, especially to eat healthy because I was eating like. Uh, some of the stuff that you, literally everything in your video that we're about to watch that like gets knocked out of your hand. Yeah, I was eating all of those things. Junk food vegans, they exist. I am friends with people that eat like that. Yeah. I'm a vegetarian. I'm like, yeah, but all you do is eat Doritos. Yeah, you eat chips. Yeah, Doritos are, are vegetarian. They're not all vegan. Mm -hmm. There's one flavor that's vegan. Trust me, I know. Spicy, uh, spicy sweet chili is the one. That's the that's one the that's vegan. vegan. One. Yep. I know it well. We're going to throw down in a minute, but let's check out the 28-day vegan challenge right now. When people hear the phrase vegan bodybuilder, they think it's an oxymoron, like jumbo shrimp or constructive YouTube comment. But still, I wanted to see if it was possible. I worked with Mark two years ago. He got six pack abs in 28 days. Problem was, Mark fell off the wagon and he's put on all of the 16.8 pounds that he lost. Now, we're gonna try and do it vegan so Mark can keep his results and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Hey, 
That's it gone well over two years. Oh my gosh, what is that? I almost look the same, right? He's got a little, like, uh, dwarf in there or something. He is not looking good. The thing Mark does not understand is he can't eat just any vegan food. The most important thing is making sure that he gets the adequate amount of protein. We're going to be using plant fusion for that. It has 21 grams of protein per serving, which is essential to him being muscular, ripped, and lean. Why did I choose Thanksgiving to do this? Thanksgiving was awesome. I had stuffing pumpkin pie, mashed potatoes. Turns out there's more to being a vegan than being difficult at restaurants and smelling like bulk lentils. So just like last time, all I dream about at night is food. But of course, I can't eat the food in real life. And it is torture. He's getting tired, he's getting frustrated. At this stage, I don't know if Mark's gonna make it. It's been brutal, and I do not know if I can do it. I did it. I got ripped on a vegan diet in 28 days. Nothing is impossible. Check out my alter ego transformation at the 28daychallenge.com forward slash vegan. What a handsome dude. And when I say handsome dude, Unreal. I meant me. Unreal. No. Uh, Yalv Kaufman said, uh, I can't see so well. Is that Mark or Arnold Schwarzenegger? <gasps> huh? I like you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to put a face yo, in there? I saw you, you tweeting earlier. Thank you. We like you. Yeah. Holy moly, Mark. Yeah, holy moly, Nate. What, uh, well, okay, I, I have a few questions about this, obviously. Let's like, talk. What, okay, favorite exercise, and by favorite, you know I mean most favorite intense, exercise. Favorite exercise, that, and this okay. is my, my real answer, none. <laughs> none were my favorite. Me too, yeah. I didn't like doing any, well, you know what? I felt good, so that's mm -hmm. not true. Like, I, I really did, I, felt, I had the energy and stuff, so I had to pick a favorite one. Um, I don't mind that, there's like this machine, it's not even a machine, but it's like this thing where you put your elbows on padding and you lift your knees up. Oh, yeah, I yeah, did that. Yeah, the, I liked that because it got me, it kind of got me ripped. Yeah? I got my stomach. I, I didn't that, mind that. was the one that. that felt like doing the most work anyway? Yeah, yeah, I liked that mm -hmm. doing that. Um, and then the cardio just wasn't my favorite. That was, yeah, there were definitely yeah. like pity stares from people. I, I don't know. Some people are listening to their music and they're like, eh, let it be over. <laughs> yeah. What did you eat on Thanksgiving then? Because I, I, <laughs> I see you gazing at the pies, but I, I never actually see you eat. Raw vegetables with maybe like some spices on it, and all my family members just taunting me the whole time. Mark, <laughs> what are you doing with your life? It's good that you have a strong support structure I around do. that. Whole I do. Sometimes they shake their head at me, and I'll take it because it's well deserved. Sure. I mean, you're, well, that, I don't. You just have such mental discipline to do all of these. Like mm -hmm. every challenge I've seen you do, or. It's just, you have such mental discipline. Is it, do you think it's <laughs> mental discipline or masochism? Or what Both? Do you think no, I, you know what it is? I need, I don't give myself a way out. If I commit mm -hmm. to something and tell people I'm doing it, I have to get an ending. I, and I kept telling myself during this, um, the vegan challenge that, listen, I lived on an airplane for a mm -hmm. month. And yeah. I couldn't shower for a month. I've had it worse. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm always trying to tell myself that it's, this is nothing compared to other stuff I've done. Totally. But it's hard sometimes to realize that in the moment. God. Yeah, uh, yeah that's crazy. Um, did you not have, you didn't have any cheat meals at all? Like, because no. I know some people do the diets not and it's one. like, yeah, one day you get no. the binge or whatever. No. no, I did nothing. A cheat would be maybe instead of one grapefruit, maybe one and a quarter grapefruit. <gasps> I know. Because <laughs> when I did it the last time, I could have fruit every seven days and now I could have like a small grapefruit every day and that was, wow. That was big. That was like going to, 
Magnolia and eating cupcakes for me. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. That changes your whole perception. Yeah, I mean, like, I know uh, the thing that broke me on the vegan thing was, like, moving to New York and just being around all this food, too. Like, did you just have to, like, walk with blinders on the whole time? I was miserable. I'd be on the <laughs> subway just staring at people eating Twinkies and Snickers, <laughs> and I would hate you're like, people. You're a bad person. Oh, even God. Though they're, like, totally, like, feeding Help their me kid. You're like, what's them. wrong with you? I just, I don't know. I've never <laughs> really stolen anything, but I was so tempted just to, you know. I need it more than you. <laughs> you don't know yeah. what I'm going through. It was tough, yeah, in terms of that. And then I have this tall wife who has to put up with me when I do these challenges, so there's that. Were you grouchy? Were you a bit of a diva then? Okay, so the first time I did it, I was very grouchy. This <laughs> mm-hmm. time I told her, I'm like, I'll have it under control. Yeah, attitude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So plus she's taller, I can't mess with her. Yeah. Yeah. You were getting in shape. She probably could beat you up, right? Yeah, and she really liked the results because she's used to, like, she married this nerdy, dorky guy, which I still am, everybody. But, uh, <laughs> you know, ripped, dorky, nerdy. Yeah. Yeah, it looked unnatural, those photos, the, the video footage. People but it, thought it, it was, like, great, special though. It's, like, incredible. Yeah, thought, Lucas it's not film fake. Was, yeah, I know yeah. it's just, like, good lighting, but, I mean, you still, like, you look really in shape. Yeah. I've never, I mean, to even be in that shape at one point in your life, yeah. let alone twice in your life, must be... That's pretty encouraging. It and is. you I have just the have photos. To keep it up. People thought that Lucas, that ILM was involved in making me look like that, <laughs> that there was some sort of special effect. My budget is about, I don't know, $17, so we couldn't afford ILM. Yeah, actually, this, this Mark Malkoff right here is a Frank Oz puppet. He's I not am. CG. Frank if you can't Oz tell, he's down there. Up. Yeah. I see him. Hey, and he's still alive. Exactly. And he's down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, Peter Gombos uh, says yeah. Have you managed to continue the training after? You seem in pretty good spirits, so I'm gonna say it's not as intense as it was. Um, That's my I've guess. been doing some. I've been running, uh, yeah. and I've been watching my diet like today. And uh, I have been taking several times a week pl- the plant fusion, which is this because vegetarians and vegans you need the, the the protein. So I was I do this thing with it has like quinoa protein, pea protein, mm-hmm. and all these things. So I've been I've been taking that, which is good. And for the most part, I have I've been a vegetarian since I was twelve, so yeah. most days I'm vegan. So the, I was going to say that jump, the only jump really then is just specifically what you're eating as far as vegan pretty much. Vegetarian, and I right? gotta start working out more. Uh, I will, I will. I gotta do. That's what I keep telling myself too, man. Yeah. This weather too, the cold makes me like. It's like getting out of bed and getting to the office is mm-hmm. like, man, you did it. That's Good an work. accomplishment right there. Yeah. But even doing like a thirty or forty minute, let alone an hour workout, is just like. How? How? How do you gather the I know, right? Will. I talked to a nutritionist, and mm-hmm. she's like, you know, you need to exercise. I'm like, I live in New York. I probably walk two miles a day. And she's like, done. I said, that's all I need. I never have to join a gym again. She just said, you're getting your exercise. And I mean, I don't know. I, I think New Yorkers, we, I think we also don't buy it when it's like, walking around that much because I think we'd make up for it secretly just by how much we end up eating and not Probably. thinking about it. Because I think, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Always the food. I feel like I eat it, especially in winter, yeah. eat a ton of junk. And then yeah. I'm like, oh, well, it's cool. I, I, it evens out because I'm either walking around or whatnot. Cancels each other's out. Yeah. Oh. Just going to stay the same the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Except for whatever's going on inside. I don't Delusional. need to Delusional. Yeah. We have, we have, it's easy to get like that in yeah. New York. Well, okay, so I wanted to get to this. Mark, well, we're throwing All right. down. We're throwing down now. Throwing since, down. Since you were vegan for 28 yeah. days, and yeah. I was vegan for roughly two months, but not a healthy vegan. You we beat should, me. Well, yeah, but I wasn't eating healthy vegan, yeah. though. So, but this is a test where we draw from the, uh, we're going to, it's, it's called vegan or not vegan. We're going to draw a food, okay. and I will name the food, or you will name the yeah, food, yeah, yeah. and then we'll figure out, we'll try to guess which one is okay. vegan and which one's not. I feel like I'm going to have an okay edge on this, because I used to, like proofread some of the PETA websites that had like surprising things you didn't know and then but you know it's been a while it's been a while we and can make this happen we know somebody in this room that knows the answers yes well no actually the answer is going to be on here oh, so okay. what will happen is I will draw it and, and then ask the food yeah okay, all right. we I didn't go this. over how to do this before him Bob Barker doing a, it's Drew Carey I'm, I'm playing for a car every yeah so. a My Damn Channel, channel t-shirt yeah, I'm okay. offering you the draw right now. Oh yeah, yeah. Fisher you want me style. to draw? Okay. Oh no, I meant like to quit now. And oh, say, I can't. No, 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 no. Here. <laughs> oh yeah, go for it. No. Oh, okay. And I ask so, you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it should be one. Okay. Does um, it say on there that it should say on there what the food is? Say. It should say vegan or not vegan. It does. Okay. Ritz crackers. You have ten seconds. <gasps> uh, I'm gonna say not vegan. Vegan. What? Really? Oh. I thought there was butter in those. One. Strike three. I there get it is. To, I get to take over the show. Okay, it's finally happened. Someone's finally challenged me. Oh, no, 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 it's now. It's your turn. Yeah, I see what you were trying to do. Uh, All right, all right. right. Um, Okay, the uh, 
Fruit by the foot. Yeah. Vegan or not vegan? Huh. Uh, is there gelatin in it? I'm thinking there might be gelatin. I'm gonna say vegan. It's vegan. Is it? Ooh. Yeah. Mark one. Ooh. Nate zero. Gosh. Uh. Okay, now in between, yeah, in between that, Lupus and Lattes asks, Nate, have you tried dangling pizza in front of your face as a motivation to start running? No, but what I will do is if I'm coming from the, I, I, walk, I have a little bit of a walk from the subway to my apartment, and if I want to go home and order a pizza, I, or I'll order a pizza online and have to know I have to beat the delivery guy home, yeah. and then I pick up the pace. That's basically the same, so yes. Oh, it's totally. Yeah, absolutely. Dr. Oz would approve. Okay, coffee mate, non-dairy creamer. I'll say this again. Coffee mate, non-dairy creamer. Non creamer. I think it's still not vegan. I think it's not vegan. Is that your final answer? No, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's 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 not vegan. It's not vegan. You're right. Not vegan. Yeah, it's got like lactose in it or something. You got it. I would have gotten that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I because mean, I remember like even then you'd still have to use silk or mm -hmm. almond milk or yeah, something yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. It's close. Some things so that say close. they're non-dairy still have traces of dairy in their eyes. Right. They have casein. They're they have liars. lactose. Man. Liars. All right, here we go. Uh, all right, Mark. Kool-Aid. Oh, um. Kool-Aid. Oh gosh. Vegan or not vegan? vegan Kool-Aid. Vegan. I'm trying to think what would be in there. I want to say. I'm gonna say vegan, but I don't know. It's vegan. Is it really? Yes. Nice. Okay, two. Yeah. Two to, two to one. Okay. Two to one. Right. Man. Yeah. I, I mean, you think? Tricky. Yeah, yeah. Because it's all about the gel. It's all about yeah. the little things. You have to look at the back of the package and think about it. You have a good intuition I'm on trying. these things. For some or else reason. I cheated. No. Um, raw sugar, Nate. Raw sugar. Uh, vegan. Not vegan. <gasps> I would have guessed what? vegan. I would have guessed vegan. How oh, is that God. possible? Oh it's, God! It's uh, it might be crushed animal bone. <laughs> Yeah. Or something. There's definitely. How is that possible? <laughs> I'm pretty sure at one point someone did come in and like give a talk yeah. about like things that were and weren't, and the conclusion of it was, there's nothing ever is a hundred percent, but you yeah. know you do your yeah. best, which is true. You just you, you do, do your, your best. best, but you don't want to eat rhinoceroses or anything. <laughs> it's true. I don't know why I'm picking that Gosh. animal. Well, so far you're beating me. Get ready to host for the rest of your life. Uh, all right. Speaking of life, life cereal. Vegan or not vegan? I thought it would be vegan. My gut instinct says vegan, but for some, if there's life cereal, maybe there's something. I'm oh, gonna say not vegan. Not vegan? Yeah. It's vegan. No, I'm going with my instinct. I should have gone with my instinct. Okay. All right. What's the score now? Uh, I. Th it's it's three to one. I think. I don't know. You're still up. Oh, uh, this is Let's easy. See. One. Come on, this is the easiest thing. What is it? It's not It's cheese. not like a cheeseburger from McDonald's, but it's close. Refried beans. Uh, not vegan. That's right. Yeah, because they've got like gross yeah. fat traces in yeah. it. Okay, yeah, so it's, it is two to two, it looks like. Can somebody watching this please leave a comment <laughs> on what the score is? Yeah, you know what? We didn't hire an officiator. Does Chris, does Chris know? Chris, were you paying attention? He's Chris, reading a comic book, Chris is cameraman. <laughs> Chris is shaking his head now. Uh, it's all good. No, I'm pretty sure it's, we it's might be funny. tied, actually. Oh yeah, let's tied. just say we're tied. Sure, it makes it more interesting if it's tied. Or if we had something at the end, like a yeah. big Hail Mary. Chris says it's tied, it's tied. Yes, okay. So, you're up. Oh, oh I'm asking you, sure. Wait, is it you asking me? No, I just did refried beans. Okay, so. then, yeah, so you're asking you're me. <laughs> so, right. we're really good at keeping track. All right, all right. guys. Uh, Tropicana Heart Healthy Orange Juice. Vegan or not vegan? Calcium. Long name. Calcium? Is that what it is? With calcium in it? I'm gonna go non-vegan. Or I'm gonna go non-vegan? You're right, you're right, because it has fish oil in it, apparently. Not vegan. Boom! Good, okay. Pulling into the lead. All right. I can't even say this. I mean, I know what this is, but I, I have a hard time. Worcestershire sauce. Wor Worcestershire, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you know what I know specifically? It's vegan. Not vegan. What? Oh my god, I might have been breaking the rules the whole time. Because I was pretty sure... I wasn't sure. You know what, I think I had to buy... I think I'm thinking that because I had to buy vegan Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. So... 
It's okay, Nate. Nate's gonna cry. I've got, <laughs> You're breaking me up. What are people show? saying online? Uh, uh, <laughs> You know, it says, when I tried vegan, I got a bad case of diarrhea. Plus, I got sick of the Whole Foods and Trader Joe's shoppers. I think the second part of that is the thing that would be more of a concern yeah. for me than the first part. Yeah, but a little too much information. Yeah. But thank you. <laughs> thank you for sharing that experience. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and Lupus Latte said, yes, good answer. I think dangling pizza in front of yourself could be incentive to do a lot of things in life, you know? Uh, running home or running quickly. Uh, uh, Performing surgery, if there was pizza just outside the window, I would be <laughs> you would very try harder. And, yeah, especially if it's like I knew I was gonna, if I botched it, if somebody walked in and picked it up, yeah. that image alone in my brain terrifies me. I would never want to screw anything up again. Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> be a perfectionist out the gate. Uh, let's see here. We've got another one of these. Okay. Right. Let's see what we've got for you, Mark. Uh, Monster Energy Drinks. I've never had one. I see them on the subway all the time. They they look and and taste awful. Like they they're really just, yeah they're not they don't taste um, good. Monster. Energy Disagree with drink. me? Say so. What would be in there? That I mean, I'm gonna say non-vegan. They're vegan. Really? Yeah. I, I never yeah. Fun Man. facts. So if you are addicted to disgusting energy drinks and want to be vegan, you can do both those things thanks to Monster. Charles Howard says, poor Nate. And I agree, Why poor, poor Nate, Nate, because I'm losing this game. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's not over. <laughs> I live this game, too. Uh, uh, Lupus and Lattes also says, Worcestershire sauce. It's, <laughs> it's not a fair name. Whoever came up with that name just wanted to make people like me feel bad about what themselves. If that, what if that was that guy's name, and he's like, you know what, I'm going to get my name out there, and it'll piss people off just as much as it pisses me off to have this whole time <laughs> by making a sauce that everyone must Can't enjoy. Pronounce. Do you think some, uh, some hipster... Um, Gonna name their kid. Wor how do you say it again? Wor how do you? Wor it's Worcester. Well, this person just I said Worcester sauce, so I'm wondering if Worcestershire. That. I could see that being some kid's name. It sounds like a botched Lord of the Rings town or something. It to does. Me. Okay, Nate. Yes. Lay's barbecue flavored chips. <gasps> Not vegan. Not vegan. Yes. Not vegan. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's only a few chips that were actually vegan that I could tell. So. Yeah. Uh, Peter Gombo says, give people t-shirts with pizza on the back, always motivated to go places. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Although, yeah. <laughs> yeah, in a marathon specifically. That's a good idea. Pizza marathon? Is there a pizza eating marathon? There should, there should be. You make it sure. happen. Nate, you make it. I should be happen. writing all this down. Definitely. All right. Let's do it. Bring Let's it on. It. Let's do it. All right. Oh, this is like, <laughs> this is <laughs> Altoids. I'm going to say there's gelatin in it, so I'm going to say non-vegan. Non-vegan! Did I get that right? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Curiously oh, like, yes. strong. Did you curiously filled with animals. Yes, and I had no idea <laughs> that I was eating a horse when I hit it. Okay, yeah, yeah. planters dry roasted peanuts. Dry roasted peanuts, eh? Yeah. Vegan. Non-vegan. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's the roasting process. Don't isn't it? kill yourself. I won't. It's all right. I won't. I just get competitive with guessing games where Definitely. there's only two possible answers. But there, with Give absolutely me. no stakes to this. <laughs> uh, all right, boy. that was good though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. have known that one. Yeah, Mark. Let's 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 stop. Let's forget this competition for okay. a second. I'm when this goes off the air, you. we're going back to this game. We're going to be doing yeah. this all night. We have so Next, many more answers yes. here. I want to talk about the Carson time. Let's talk about the Carson yes. Podcast. You've launched this podcast. Yeah. You have amazing guests. Tell us yeah. more for the uninitiated about the Carson Podcast. It's a Johnny Carson themed podcast called the Carson Podcast, where I talk to people whose lives were literally changed by going on the Tonight Show. Johnny Carson, for people that might not know, Jimmy Fallon mentions Johnny's name every interview he does. Mm -hmm. He has modeled a lot of his talk show on Carson. Carson was from May of um, October first, nineteen sixty-two, to May. 22nd, 92, yes, I'm a comedy nerd. And, uh, you know, back then, you know, 15 million people would watch The Tonight Show. So you had yeah. these comics that were undis... No one knew who they were. They would go on stage, and literally their lives were changed. Yeah. So I talked to them, I talked to people that regularly appeared on the show, and I talked to people that worked for Carson. And people get very emotional talking about, first of all, their lives change, but also their love for, for Johnny. Mm -hmm. So my first guest was Stephen Wright who's one of the greatest oh stand-ups of all time. Yeah, even I know, right? I'm, I'm younger, but I still yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, know Stephen, Stephen Wright. Wright is a legend. legend. Yeah, so he had been doing stand-up for three years when he got a call out of the blue. It was a huge fluke backstory. And um, 
he thought it was a joke, and then he went on this show, and he said to me that Johnny Carson changed his life twice. But it's just one of those things where no one knows who you are. You go on that, and then your life's never the same. I had That's one incredible. guy, Tom Teresa, who's done Letterman like 100 times. He, mm -hmm. he did Carson 61 times at The Tonight Show. He told me on unemployment, wife and three kids completely broke, un, un, goes to an un, unemployment um, office, and then the next day goes on Carson development deal with CBS and has worked ever since. It's like, it's like Carson, like, waving. It's like, we, know, we always hear about, like, the illusion of stars making it, and it's like, yeah. no, people work hard, and then they get lucky. But that's what it, yeah. it's like a wave of a magic wand, which was yeah. Carson. It's incredible. Yeah. I think what I like, it's like, it's, I, there's a lot of, like, you know, in-depth comedy podcasts now, but this is, like, there's something, there's a magical element to it, you know what I mean? Okay, like, very emotional. Uh, yeah. Brian, I just love hearing the story. Yeah. So we have, I think Martin Mull's going to be next week. I have Dick Cavett, again, who met Johnny Carson. I think he was like 11 or 12 in a church basement, a church basement in Nebraska, because Carson was a magician, pre Carsoni, and Cabot was an amateur magician as a kid. And um, yeah, the, the stories are captivating. I just, I don't know, it's just been fun sitting down with these people. Yeah, so. it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's so, something. So other guests you've had and guests lined up. You've had. Okay. I'm just making you, re <laughs> making sure. you remember everything um, now. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if I've talked publicly for everyone I've talked to. Charles Grodin. Mm -hmm. Is um, who from Midnight Run opposite, opposite De Niro? He he was one of three people that would uh, was under contract by the Tonight Show. The Tonight Show went to him and they said, "We don't want you to do any other show. Be exclusive to us." I think Joan wow. Rivers was another one. He would go on. Back then, people would do the show every three weeks. Carson started doing it at an hour and forty-five minutes. Then it went down to ninety minutes. Mm -hmm. So he'd have ninety minutes to fill. So a lot of these people, no one does a show every three weeks. Yeah. So Grodin would go on the Tonight Show in character, kind of like Stephen Colbert. Mm -hmm. People would boo him. They wouldn't know that. It it was like a, really? it was an act and stuff. So I sat down with him. Carl Reiner I sat down with. Who else? Rich Little, Martin Mull, Kevin Nealon. A bunch of people. It's been fun. That's incredible. Yeah, man. and when I got to, Gosh. when I was out in L.A., it was fun because, you know, I'm, I don't live in L.A., so I got to go to a lot of their homes and just sit down with them and just, they love talking about this time yeah, period in their not? life. So it was just a passion project I decided I was going to do, but I'm glad people seem into it. CarsonPodcast.com. Very yes. subtle plug. CarsonPodcast.com. Subtle plug. That's incredible, Yeah, it's man. been fun just yeah. um, talking to the people. I'm going to dig into the rest of that because I've heard so. a couple. Ah, oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love period. comedy podcasts. And I love yeah. talking shop. And I just, like, mm -hmm. I feel like if you're somebody out there who, like, I'm I really a uh, big, like, modern comedy nerd, but, like, it, I feel like you got to dig into the roots a little bit, too. And that's absolutely what it is. It's just, like, a look back at... A lot of that stuff it's like holds a magic up. time. So much Late of it night. still holds up. Oh, it's the rom romantic back then. I interrupted yeah. you. Keep no, talking. No, no, it's your no, no, show. No, go ahead. No, it was a very romantic, yeah. glamorous. That's what I'm, that's what I'm just getting to. Yeah. yeah. People. <laughs> we had a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Did we just become yeah. friends? <laughs> yeah. But um. Do I get to keep my show? <laughs> people doing that show was the biggest deal. Going on Carson, he would make his guests feel comfortable. These were people that would be, you know, in some cases throwing up backstage. They'd be so nervous, and the moment they walked out, Johnny would make them feel comfortable. My guest today, actually told me through her first appearance, Johnny held her hand the whole time because she was so nervous and shaking. And she didn't realize Carson was holding her hand until she watched the show that night. Wow. And she initially turned the show down because she was too nervous to do the show. And there was a lot of that, you know? Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. He made so many careers. Uh, TRG Hudson said, did Mark mention Tom Dressen? Tom Dreesen? Dreesen. Yeah. That was Dreesen the episode. Name. And Dreesen has been one of my favorite episodes. No one tells a story like Tom Dreesen. He was... Um, <laughs> 31, he was broke, went on The Tonight Show, development deal. He opened up for Sinatra for 13 years until Sinatra stopped. The stories that that guy has, unreal. I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh. I love Teresa. So, guys, we're actually out of, we are out of what? time. I know. What? I know. Uh. Oh, my God. So, Mark, thanks so much Thank for you, coming, Nate. man. I this really appreciate fun, it. Yeah, you should yeah, come yeah, back yeah. anytime for sure. I would love to. You don't have to put yourself through anything terrible to come back We can here, do it again. Okay? Can yeah. we do it in, like, 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Let's go. We'll be back in 15 minutes. That is not going to happen. <laughs> I have to go meet someone for dinner. I have an impulse just to say yes to anything that sounds fun. So when you said that, I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, an let's improv. Do it. Yes, and. Can I punch you in the face? Yes, yes and. <laughs> yes, Those and I will classes. make it look as real as possible. Sure. Uh, I, yeah, thanks, Mark, for being here. Check out the Carson Podcast, carsonpodcast.com. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, see you guys next week, 4 p.m. Bye. Bye.